So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Michael, Michael and, and welcome, welcome to Game Club. Club. Now, now, this in theory is going to be a weekly, weekly thing. thing. Um, I, don't I don't know if we've got anyone on yet or not, um, but, but the idea, idea is we're going to play a game. game. And the game we're going to play today, or at least that I planned for us to play today, Oh, oh, and audio, audio is messed, messed up. up. Hold on. Okay, that should fix the audio. Um, so we've got Adam on so far. So hi, Adam. Um, yeah, so the idea of this is we're going to play code names, which I have just here. Lovely code names, all set up and ready to go. Um, just going to give it a bit of time for people to join and explain just what it is I have in mind for the show. So, um, basically, yeah, it's going to be playing a game. It's going to be weekly. The idea is it's going to be like a lunch club or breakfast club or dinner club, whatever time. You know, so games that you can play in about an hour in whatever your lunch break is. That's the idea. And it's going to be games that I can play with you, the audience. So what I want to be doing um, for this code names, we're going to do the two player version whereby I'm going to give codes. I'm going to give the clues and then you guys are going to guess. Um, so if we have a look, I don't think we've got anyone but Adam on so far. Uh, where does it say how many people are on? Uh, I could have swore that it did tell me this somewhere and I can't remember where. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think we've got anyone on ah there we go analytics that's what i'm looking for so yeah the only one on at the moment is adam so uh at the moment <laughs> if other people join then they can join in i think um so just in case people are watching this later and they don't know how to play etc i'm just going to quickly go through the basic rules on how to play which it shouldn't take too long it's quite simple so the way this is going to work move that out of the way, is that I will give a word and a number. That number relates to how many of these cards I think are associated to that word. So could be absolutely anything. Then as a group you're going to decide which word you think it is. And then based on that I'll say whether it is one of ours, and we're going to be red for this first game anyway one of our enemy team, innocent bystander, or an assassin. Now if we get the assassin, that's the game over. If we get all the enemy team, then that's the game over. Otherwise, it's just trying to get ours as quickly as possible with as few of the enemy team out as possible. And after you finish guessing, so you can guess as up to as many as I say, and you can also do a bonus wild guess if you want. So if I said two, you could guess two cards and then go, we'll do a wild guess of this one for our third one. So that's how the game works. How it's going to be working with regards to us actually playing this game. Someone is going to be team captain and we'll sort that out in a minute once people have had a ch chance to join. Their job is going to be to not only give their own opinion on what they think the correct answers should be, but also to kind of collate the response. They're going to be the voice that I'm going to act on. So they're going to be the person I'm looking for to say, right, that's it. We're sorted. We can say that one. The equivalent of if you were playing this physically, you'd kind of point to the card. And it's when you actually touch the card that it counts, not just when you say it. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to have the camera looking at me while you're doing your discussions because that way I can't give anything away. So I've got this thing going on in my beard. It's really distracting me. Um, so we've got a couple more people on now. Um, so we've got uh, Pilon is lurking. We'll be here soon. Um, behind the box. So Chris has joined us. Hi, Chris. Um, I assume you haven't got Lindsay with you um, because of work and all that stuff. But thanks for being on. Uh, apparently, Adam and Chris have been taking part in the Content Creators uh, Star Realms tournament thing. I kind of missed signing up for that. I don't know what happened. But I, just, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I should do that. 
and then I didn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, Chris has confirmed from behind the box uh, that it's just him. So, okay, that's about five minutes now. So I think that's probably enough that we can pick our team captain. So does anyone wish to volunteer to be the team captain of the people guessing? Sorry about the squeaky chair if you can hear that. <laughs> Uh, so Adam, oh Adam's not part of the tournament, just playing casually with Chris, okay. And Adam is going to be our team captain because um, Chris is going to be a bit in and out and obviously Pilon's just lurking at the moment. Hopefully we will have more people join us as well later on, but you know, if we don't, we don't. I'm not too worried about that. So, our team captain is... Adam, let's take a look then at the cards. These are the cards we got. I'm not sure why it's so dark. Let me see if I can improve that quickly. Um, do, 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 do. Sorry about the hold music. Let's see, configure. Uh, brightness. That should be, I think, a bit better. Okay, so what I'm going to then go for from these, uh, I think we're going to play it safe to begin with. We're going to go for a two of car. So that's what you're looking at, two of car. So we've got Chris and Adam on. Discuss which ones you think they should be. And I'll kind of just narrate the chat that's going on. <laughs> so at the moment uh, we've got Chris is packing, but it's kind of listening in. And Adam uh, just wishing him good luck with the move. So Adam... Chris, any ideas for what you think car relates to? Or what you think I think car relates to, more importantly? So, Adam thinks he's got one. Chris has suggested track and bomb. So, you're both agreeing with track. So Adam as team captain, shall I say whether or not that's right? Or do you want to continue discussing before you go for a pointing answer? And we'll see if you are right. Okay, so we're going for track. So, boom. Innocent bystander, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my fault. I, I didn't notice that track was there. It happens, you know. Yeah, uh, track was a good guess for car. You know, racing track and all that. So, sorry about that. Um, so, hmm. Well, that's not the best of starts. <laughs> Let's see. What can we then go for? Well, I'm looking at this. Looking at that. Uh, hmm. Well, I think I'm going to cover up. Oh man, this is difficult. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Okay, I'm going to cover up. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to cover up this one here. Okay, so that's the blue team, so you can ignore that one. Uh, and then, let's see. Um, so, code. 
Well, I could go for the same again, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to try a different two. I'm going to try a different two. I'm going to go for... Uh, oh, duh, duh, duh. Vivaldi 2. So let's see what you guys think for that. I'm just going to type away here as I check something, which I think I probably, yeah. That's not going to make it easy. Easier. Um, <laughs> I, I may have got something wrong. Uh, the clue was Vivaldi 2. So, let's see. Oh, oh, we've got Fuzzy Bear on. Hi, Fuzzy Bear. And suggestions are Concert and Saturn. Okay. So the way it's going to be work, working, Fuzzy Bear, if you kind of missed the beginning, Adam's your team captain. So he's going to be kind of collating your responses, your, your answers, and be the equivalent of the person who points at the card, who goes like, yes, it's that one. Um, that's how it's going to be working. So you guys are just going to be discussing on the chat, and I'm going to be just narrating what you're saying, really, as well as it's showing up. Um, and then you can kind of decide between you. So Adam and Chris are also on. Uh, you guys have any opinion on that? So we've got three people on at the moment. Um, I think you've spelt it right, Adam. So Adam said he's not familiar with the word. Um, Chris is saying he likes fuzzy suggestions, fuzzy bears suggestions. So, uh, fuzzy bears saying the reason he's chosen concert and Saturn is based on classical music. Uh, Saturn is part of the planets by Holst. Vivaldi is a classical composer. And um, Adam's going say uh, responded with oh okay. So Adam, just let me know if you have any other thoughts on that um, with what the rest of the guys have said or if we've got a kind of answer. OK, so Adam's trusting in Fuzzy Bear's response. So which one do you guys want to go for first, Concert or Saturn? Because obviously it can make a difference um, because if you get the wrong one first, then you don't get to do the other one. So Adam's saying concert first. Any feedback from Fuzzy Bear and Chris? Fuzzy Bear's saying yep. So given that there's three of you on, I'll say we'll go with that because that is majority consent then. And sat, uh, and which one are we looking at? Concert. Concert is ours. Red. Well done, guys. So then the other guess you had was Saturn. So yeah, Fuzzy Bear, you were completely right. That was exactly what I was thinking, but I got the composer wrong, which made it more difficult. <laughs> so uh, do you guys want to do a random guess? You can do a random guess. Obviously, we didn't get any correct from the last clue. So there's still that that you can play with. It's completely up to you. Adam's saying no. What about you, Fuzzy Bear? Any interest in a random guess? Chris is suggesting going for bomb. Um, Fuzzy Bear, what's a random guess? So um, once you've guessed the number that I said, you can then do just a random guess if you want, or it's not necessarily random, but it's an additional one that you can do above the number that I said that can be related to a previous clue where you potentially missed it, etc. Um, so Adam's saying, hmm, could do, and we'll go for bomb. So, okay, there's three of you on, um, Chris and Adam are saying bomb. So, uh, Fuzzy Bear is saying, oh, I think I know the car clue. Uh, so Fuzzy Bear is suggesting boot. 
So, anyone have any opinions? Are we going for bomb or boot? I mean, we've got two votes for bomb at the moment with Adam and Chris. Does anyone want to change their vote? So we've got one for boot, two for bomb. And we'll just give it a few seconds. Doesn't look like we've got a change. So we've got two people. Oh, Chris saying that could be the other one. Because uh, he did do two for car and they went for track, which was wrong. So, okay, I think we're going to go with a random guess on boot. Uh, not on boot, sorry, on bomb. So we're going for bomb. And well done, it was car bomb. So that means I now need to do the difficult part again. I actually have to think of another clue and cover something up from the other teams. Uh, hmm. Wow. This is kind of difficult. Uh, but, but, but. I say it's kind of difficult. It's always difficult. It always is. Um. Especially being the clue giver, I find particularly difficult in this. So I think the thing for me to cover up... I think I'm going to go with Hawk. So Hawk is a blue team. And then... Let's see, what can I give as a clue that will be useful? Uh, we'll go with, um, oh, oh, the word's gone out of my head. Uh, that's very annoying. Um, we'll go with craps too. So I think we're going to go for craps too. And I think I've got... Uh, not crafts, craps. I think I've got that right. I'd say the word suddenly went out of my head, um, but hopefully I have kind of got it right. Um, it, it may be completely, completely wrong, but we'll see if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, and we'll see. Uh, so Fuzzy Bear has suggested dice. <laughs> Adam says we need the words back. Well, I, I certainly do. I, I, I have mental issues, obviously. Um, being on camera, it's very un unnerving and it makes it very difficult. Especially doing live. For some reason, it's a lot more stressful doing the live stuff and a lot more anxiety-inducing <laughs> than doing the pre-recorded stuff. Um, so, Fuzzy Bear saying... Oh, and I can't see the board. Yes, sorry. Uh, I was letting you see my mouth to see in case that helped with understanding the word I was saying. So we'll go back to the board. I'm sure that will actually help. No retakes. Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of retakes in my videos. Um, it's gotten better, but I do still do probably about four or five takes for everything that actually gets put out there. Um, so let's see. Uh, so suggestions we have are Dice and Casino. Adam's agreeing with Dice. <laughs> and saying, stop beating me to the punch. Okay, so I think I think Chris has is distracted at the moment with his packing. So I think it's pretty much you guys. So it's whatever you two want to go with. You're both agreeing on dice and and casino. Which do you want to go for first? So Adam's saying go for dice first. And is Fuzzy Bear okay with that? 
Yeah, it's fine if you just want to listen, Chris. I, I understand you're, you're busy, and obviously it's a, it, it's a game that's very visual. So, Okay, so we are going for dice. And dice is... It's one of ours, it's red. Well done, guys. So the other one was Casino, and... Yeah, of course, Casino is one of ours as well. So do you guys want a random guess? So... Um, you've, so far you've done one random guess for the car thing, which you went for bomb. Uh, so you could do another random guess um, relating to that. You potentially have something left. And you're both suggesting boot. So we'll go for boot. And yes, it is boot. So that is correct. And it's back to me doing the hard part. Um, or at least I think it's probably the hardest part. So what have we got? We can't. We've only got. We've only got three more left to get. So it'd be good if I could get them all this time. But I'm probably, probably not gonna get that. <laughs> um, yeah. Although maybe. It's possible? I mean, you never know, it might happen. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this one here. I'm going to cover up Canada. And then the clue I'm going to give, I'm going to give the clue Feather free. And fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's go back to showing the board. So, yeah, feather free. Let's see what you guys make of that. So, Fuzzy Bear's already suggested three options uh, without even having a clue. That, that's pretty good going, Fuzzy. Uh, you're just going for the mind reading idea there. Uh, so Adam saying crane. Okay, so that's one suggestion. Uh, anything from Fuzzy and any other ideas you guys have for the options there? Um, obviously, there's a lot, lot left there to go for. Uh, so Fuzzy, we got air as an option. Um, air bird type thing. Uh, Adam saying probably about that. So that's we've got two ideas at the moment, crane and air. Fuzzy, what do you think of crane as an option then? And any ideas for third options or any other ideas that you think? Uh, so Fuzzy's gone for strike as in bird strike and thinks that crane is a good one. Um, Adam's suggesting brush. So we kind of got four possibles at the moment. We've got Crane, Strike, Air and Brush that you guys are considering. Any others that you think could fit for Feather? Okay, so Fuzzy is suggesting going for Crane first. And Adam agrees. So we will do Crane and... Sorry guys, uh... I, I didn't miss that Crane was there, I just, it's the whole association thing. I was thinking Crane as in like building Crane, not as in bird Crane. So I just did not consider that as an answer. So I'm really sorry about that guys. Uh, so <laughs> Wrong answer means we do have to kind of move on and that means I've got to put out another blue. So this time, I guess I'll cover I'll cover vet, and um, yeah, I think I think we're just gonna keep the same clue as last time. We're we're gonna stay with feather two. So um, any more thoughts on that? We've got uh, sorry, so feather three, wasn't it? It's feather three. So we've got three left to do. And feather free is the clue. So I think we've still got 
two on. So Adam's suggesting air. Uh, we have got some uh, bystanders as well. If you want to join in and give your opinions, I'm not sure. I think Chris is obviously one of them listening. Um, it might be that uh, we've got um, people back, peel on back, but uh, we'll see. So Adam has suggested air as the first one to go for, for feather free. Uh, Fuzzy or anyone else who's on, uh, do you have any opinions on that? I'll just give it a few seconds. Hopefully uh, it is still working and it's not timed out. Uh, so Fuzzy is happy to go for air. And good news, air is indeed one of ours. So you've got two more guesses plus the potential wild guess. Though you shouldn't need it if you get two more guesses, right? So what else do you want to go for for Feather? Uh, got Mr. Grey Dot. Welcome, Mr. Grey Dot has joined us and is suggesting cliff because of flying off of a cliff. So yeah, I mean that certainly makes some sense. Uh, so I think the suggestions we had before as well, if I can remember, uh, we had brush. Uh, we had strike, and now we've got cliff. So we've got three more to consider. And so just for Mr. Grey Dot's benefit, because you haven't seen the rest of the video, the way it's working is Adam is your team captain. It's kind of his responsibility to say this is the final answer, kind of the person who would be the one to point if we were playing this physically together in the same room but otherwise it's just you guys having the discussion as you would in the room but on the chat and I'm just kind of narrating what's going on in the chat and telling you whether you get it right or wrong and doing the clue giving. So um, so Adam thinks brush is the one. So we've got two other people on. So Fuzzy and Mr. Grey Dot. Kind of cast your votes on brush. So Adam is saying brush is the next one we should go for. Anyone else have any opinions on that? Uh, so Fuzzy says go for brush. This is awesome, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, 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 I'm enjoying it too, because obviously we, anyone who follows the channel, like me, they love games and that's why they're doing it. And it's kind of a sad thing of doing this that often it can be very solitary. So I'm really enjoying this actually getting to play a game with people and, you know, it won't necessarily be the same people every week and it won't be the same games every week. But yeah, this is absolutely cool to be able to just do this over the internet with a group of people like this. Uh, so we've got two votes for Brush out of the three that are on. I think that's how many we've got on at the moment. Um, so we will go for Brush and yes, Brush is one of ours. Nice one, guys. So you've got one guess left and just one more spy to get. What do you think it is? So we've got cliff or strike as the kind of suggestions so far. Obviously there are plenty of other words out there. You know, we've got drop, shark, ham, dress, capital, I, comic, and also boom and chocolate. Uh, so Fuzzy Bear is going for I as in bird's eye. Uh, yeah, so do you mean it's in bird's eye view or is in bird's eye the food, uh, like the manufacturer of food? Although obviously if you're not in the UK you might not know that it's a UK brand. So, <laughs> um, so Adam saying thinks it could be dress, because um, the other two were not actually feather related. And Fuzzy said he meant as in bird's eye view. Uh, Adam said the clue is feather, not bird. And we've got Fuzzy saying go for dress then. Okay, so we've got two votes for dress. Um, so Adam, is that a, an official guess on dress then? Oh, oh, Mr. Grey Dot, we've got an extra, an extra guess. Drop falling feather as an option yeah that that could definitely make some sense um so yeah that's 
I've not done a very good job on the clue here, have I? There's too many options that actually, if you think about it enough, there are things that make sense on most of those. I think maybe like a couple that would be really hard to kind of connect, but otherwise a lot of those you would probably connect to Feather. So I think I'm going to have to push you guys, we're getting on, going to need a final, final guess. It's either going to win the game or cost us points, because there's still four blue there, so we're not going to lose the game yet. Well, unless unless you guess the assassin, um, but hopefully I've done a good enough job that you haven't. Um, so, okay, so we've got one vote for dress. Fuzzy saying he's happy to go with Adam. So, okay, I think we've got three people on, Mr. Grey Dot, Adam and Fuzzy. So, okay, we've got a consensus. Uh, Mr. Grey Dot has agreed. Dress and dress. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's there. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, guys, it's a blue agent. I've obviously done quite a bad job on these clues um because we only need one more um so let's see what am i going to cover up this time okay we'll go with a blue one covering up i yeah feather dress did make sense adam sorry sorry about that um, as I said, it was actually quite a poor clue when you kind of went through all these other ones. It was like, yeah, it could have been those. Yep, that made absolutely perfect sense. So your clue this time for the one and only agent left to find is going to be hit one. So hopefully this should be an easy enough one to do. Hit one. So Fuzzy Bear has gone straight in there with Strike and got an agreement from Adam. What do you think, Mr. Grey Dot? Do you agree? Or do you think there's something else that it could be? Uh, Fuzzy saying it means Bird Strike was right. So, and we have we have got other people on. If if you're on and listening and you want to kind of join us on the chat and give your op opinion, then feel free to. Uh, was it eat or beat? And Adam's gone replied with beat. I thought it was hit. I thought I went for hit. Yeah, Fuzzy, Fuzzy Bear said I did go for hit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so three people on the chat have said strike. And yeah, of course it's strike. Well done, guys. So we had two agents left, which if we look at the manual here, uh, let's see, two agents left. Okay, but you can do better. So I think we should maybe see if we can do better. We're only half hour of the kind of hour time slotted. Uh, I think you did a great job, guys. I did not too good a job on giving the clues. So I think what we're going to do is we'll clear up these and we'll then flip all the agents, not the agents, flip all the word cards and give it another one and hopefully you guys are up for that uh, da, 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 da. get the agents out the way so,
and I'm not going to worry about tidying them up too much because what I'll do is I'll tidy them up while you guys are thinking and while I'm thinking and uh, what I need to grab is another one uh, so fuzzy bears uh, definitely up for another one but has to go in 20 minutes so I yeah I think I mean we'll all just try and do it as quick as we can um, I'll try and be a bit quicker on the guesses we're going to be the red team again guys um, are you happy keeping Adam as the team captain or did anyone else want to take over as team captain or anything like that uh, just let me know on the chat in the meantime I am going to be looking and thinking of a clue that will hopefully be better than last time uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to make this quicker. Um, which is easier said than done, it really is. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go for Bandit Free. So let's just click back over to me. So we're saying Bandit Free. Um, back to the clues for you. Yeah, the clue giver definitely is the hardest part of this game. Um, so it's one of those things. It's it's kind of the big reason that a lot of people don't like this game is the part of the clue giver that it is just suddenly right you've got to think of something and it's pretty pressure there's quite a lot of pressure there and everyone else is just kind of sat around at that time um, I think it probably works better in real person doing that than on this chat thing just from the point of view that when everyone's around the table while the person's thinking the clue giver's thinking everyone else just having a bit of a chat so that kind of works well i think um so ideas we've had adam suggested mug uh fuzzy bear has suggested bank mexico and ship mr gray dot has suggested bank mug van and lock but that's four but that, i mean that's possibilities um, so we've got an agreement from Adam on bank. So everyone said bank. Do you want to go with that as your first guess? And just see if anyone kind of responds on that suggestion. And let's see. Yeah, I mean, obviously with the lag, um, I'm not sure how bad the lag really is on this at the moment, but it's probably probably not great. <laughs> Uh, so Adam, we're, we're good on going for bank, so uh, where is bank? It's never a good sign when I need to check where it is. Uh, our bank is there, so yes, that is one of ours, well done. So Fuzzy Bear says, couple seconds lag. Yeah, it's about what I've had when I was doing the live chat test, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm glad to know that the new webcam that I'm using to be able to do this view here um, isn't causing too much more of a lag really, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you got one right. Uh, everyone agreed to go for that. So what do you want to go for the next one? 
Uh, both Adam and Mr. Grey Dot said mug, so Fuzzy Bear's happy to go with that. So, shall we go with that as the next guess, or do you think something else? I think Adam's saying go for mug, so as team captain, let's go for mug, which is up here, and yes, well done. So, definitely a better start than the last game, because in the last game, uh, we instantly got an instant bystander. So, definitely a better ga game this time. So now you've got a third guess available. What do you want it to be? Ideas that have been said. We have um, Mexico, ship, van or lock. All as options that people have suggested. And uh, just in case you've forgotten, uh, just a reminder. The clue we're looking at here is bandits and it was for free and you've got two so far so anyone got any feedback on which they think's more likely and may maybe you've got a reason that you think that's more likely and you can kind of say what that reason is and try and convince other people to agree with you uh, just put it in the chat and let's see uh, Adam's saying we could pass that's definitely an option if you guys want to pass. Uh, you can just not take the risk and end it there. Obviously, getting two is good. I, I think my kind of aim when I play this is to get two every round. If you get two every round, you're going to do pretty well. So Fuzzy's saying he, he's also happy passing. So I think that's, that's two votes to pass. So we're going to go for a pass. Uh, which means I now need to pick another clue. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up Ghost. And we've got a, an agreement from Mr. Grey Dot to pass, so that's good. Everyone agreed. So we covered up Ghost and... Um, I did have a reason for that, but I cannot remember for the life of me what it actually was. Um, so what we're going to try is Constellation 2. Uh, so uh, we've got Dave... On. Hi Dave, uh, thanks for being on. Is this Codename Duets? No, this isn't Codename Duets. This is the two-player um, variant of Codenames that came in the rulebook. Uh, so we've got the two-player variant rules there, which is just the normal Codenames that we're playing. Um, so the Codenames Duet varies because the clue card here, and I'll show you the one from the previous game, is double-sided, whereas these aren't. Um, although that is probably a better game, I would say, for playing two players. Um, I, I still really enjoy playing this two player and it works better two player for the fact that I would need to have information hidden from me that you guys could see if we were doing duet. Uh, so suggestions we have, and I've already forgotten what the clue was, so that's, that's great. Um, Fuzzy Bear has suggested Jupiter. Adam suggested Scorpion, then Fuzzy Bear's agreed with that. Mr. Grey Dot has said Phoenix and Scorpion. Um, and Fuzzy is agreeing with Mr. Grey Dot, Phoenix and Scorpion. Ah, uh, Constellations. Thanks for reminding me, Fuzzy. Um, and Adam's agreed with Phoenix. Okay, so I think that's everyone has said Phoenix and Scorpion then. Um, so that's an interesting choice. You, you, you might have to explain that to me. But 
which one do you want to guess first? And then you can explain kind of why you think those things as regards to constellations. Do, do, do. Uh, Fuzzy said Scorpio and Phoenix are constellations. I wasn't aware Phoenix was. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, so, what are you going for then? Well, I probably shouldn't have said that. That's kind of giving away that um, which order you should do them in. But <laughs> as Mr. Craydot has said. Um, yeah, as I say, I shouldn't have done that. So, okay, we're going for Scorpion. So, Scorpion, yes, is ours. And I shouldn't have said about Phoenix. So, I think that uh, that should count as a guess. But luckily, it is actually a correct guess anyway. So, <laughs> it didn't matter too much that I had said that. So, I, I've never heard of a constellation called Phoenix. That's really cool. Did not realise that. Um, okay, so did you guys want to go for a wild guess at all? Uh, that is an option, obviously. Um, otherwise, I'll go on thinking for next clue. Um, which may be easier said than done. <laughs> See, uh, so Fuzzy Bear is suggesting Jupiter for a random guess. Um, anyone have any opinions on that? Or we can just go on to the... Uh, to the next thing. Uh, so Adam's suggesting passing for now and keeping the other clues in mind and Mr Grey Dot has agreed with that so okay we'll go with that then so what I'm going to cover up then I am gonna cover up I'm going to cover up Van, and I am going to go for, as the clue, I'm going to go for Anderson 2. And we'll see if anyone knows what I'm on about there. So Anderson 2, what do you guys think I could be meaning? Who do you think are our agents from that clue? We don't have any kind of suggestions so far. Uh, we've got six people apparently on watching at the moment. Um, so if anyone else wants to join in with the chat, don't feel that because you missed the start or whatever that you can't. Uh, you can be free to give ideas. If you just want to listen along or watch along, that is also fine though. Uh, so let's see. Um... So Adam suggested suit. Mr. Grey Dot has asked Anderson question uh, mark. Fuzzy Bear has asked anything matrix based question mark. Adam's saying he can't answer that. No, I can't, but you can kind of discuss it amongst yourself. So it's a question to you guys, which is what Fuzzy saying it is. Um, Adam saying the only clue we get is Anderson. OK, uh, we've got Cardboard Cultist online. Hi. Cardboard Cultist, welcome. Thanks for joining us and watching while you, you're, you're eating your lunch. That's kind of the idea of this. It was to be like board game lunch club type thing. Um, and it's going to be weeklies. So he's saying you guys got this. Uh, so hopefully you do. We'll see. 
Uh, Mr. Grey Dot has said, yeah, suit, suit's fine. Uh, <laughs> suit 100% from Fuzzy Bear. And Adam is saying suit. So we're going with suit, which is down here. And it is, it is correct. Well done. So you have got another guess if you want it. And of course you don't have to guess based on this clue. You can use your guess to base on a previous clue because you don't have to actually get what I was trying to indicate this time. You just have to get one of ours. Uh, so Fuzzy's saying maybe trip as in a trip from the drugs he took. <laughs> well, yeah, um, that definitely seems to be an element of that film. I think uh, I, I read some very pretentious thing that was basically saying how the whole film was just about drugs and it wasn't about sci-fi fighting computers at all. Um, whether that's true, I have no idea. Um, so Adam is saying, so we've had Bandit and Constellation as clues that could go for. Mr. Grey Dot is suggesting Battery as a possible answer. Um, so Adam's saying, I reckon the previous lock might be relevant because it links with Bandit and can link with the Matrix as you're locked in the Matrix. Okay. Uh, Jupiter, is, uh, sorry, Fuzzy is suggesting Jupiter. Uh, Mr. Grey Dot's agreeing with Adam about the whole Matrix thing and lock. So, I mean, we've got two people saying lock. Do you want to go with that as your answer then? What do you think, Fuzzy? Do you agree with going for lock based on their kind of logic there? Or do you do you hold out for your Jupiter answer? Fuzzy's saying go for it. So, Adam, you've got the final say. You're the team captain. Are you going for lock? Fuzzy still thinks Jupiter is correct though. And Adam's saying go for lock. Okay, so lock is boom, blue agent, I'm afraid. So that was not correct. And of course, wrong answer does end the go immediately. So I then need to cover something else up and think about all the mistakes I have made. Um, I think I'm gonna cover up. I think I'm going to cover up kangaroo and um, then for the clue, wow, uh, probably going to regret this. But I'm going to go for, oh, going to go, okay, going to go for Mayan 2. So we'll see how well we do on that. Um, so just while I've been thinking, sorry, there has been chat going on, so uh, just a little bit. Uh, Sam says, dang about the wrong answer. Yeah, I mean, it happens, doesn't it? Fuzzy Bear is saying Jupiter. <laughs> Um, this is the point of code names, trying to determine what someone is going on about. Usually people go outside the realm of what you think they would guess or could guess. Yeah, it's always the way, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Grey Dot has suggested Mexico as the for sure thing answer for our uh, Mayan clue. And uh, it was Mayan too, so there's potentially more as well as that. Anyone else have any ideas or any ideas on what the second thing is? Uh, Mr. Grey Dot saying Jupiter could be as a connection with calendar and astronomy. Uh, astronomy. Uh, Fuzzy Bear is saying Mexico ruler Jupiter. 
and Adam is saying I'm okay with Jupiter and Mexico. So we kind of got everyone agreeing Jupiter and Mexico. So if we start with those, which order do you want to do those in? And then we'll kind of go from there. So Fuzzy's deferring to Adam, Adam saying Mexico first. What do you think, Mr. Grey Dot? Mexico, and then if we can, go for Jupiter. Okay, so we have a consensus on Mexico here. And bingo, it is Mexico. So I think we then have a consensus on Jupiter. So here it is. And yep. Yeah. Another right answer. So that was your two. Do you want to take a wild guess now? Obviously, you've had quite a lot to work with. Um, you could take a wild guess. Just to point out, we do have just two more agents left now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Fuzzy is saying he doesn't want to take a guess. Uh, what about you, Adam and Mr. Grey Dot? Any opinions on taking guesses there? Otherwise, we can just move on to our next clue, which may even be our final one. Okay, we've got consensus on not going ahead with a random guess. So let's see where our two are. Okay, so... hmm. I've got to cover one up. And I'm going to cover up pilot. And hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to link these no so I'm gonna go I'm just gonna do a one leg one I know I know that's feeble isn't it and we're not gonna do better than last time with guesses like that but uh, yeah I mean that's the way it's gonna go sometimes so we're going for leg one if you can uh, have any ideas on that so Fuzzy is suggesting car. What about Adam and Mr. Grey Dot? Any opinion? Uh, Mr. Everyone said car. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and Fuzzy's saying, please be right, I had to be in a meeting five minutes ago. So, sorry, Fuzzy. You, yeah, Calf is definitely right. Uh, do you guys want to take a random guess? Uh, there are three blue left and just one red. Or do you want to carry on to the next clue? Which will probably be a given. <laughs> so Fuzzy's saying nope to the random guess. I, I think everyone else is going to agree. Um, so I will just cover one up uh, as Fuzzy is in a rush and we were meant to finish anyway i am going to cover up ship and then your clue is going to be king one so nice and simple i doubt we're going to have any dispute on that what do you think the uh one is for that so fuzzy is saying ruler adam or mr gray dot any opinion on ruler yeah we've got instant instant approval and yeah it is of course ruler which means we had two agents left which is the same as our first game okay this has been great guys i do thank you all for having played along and if you've been playing along and just watching or just watching this as a recording that's also great and do hope that you'll join us next week for another game club at the same time and uh, i don't know yet what game we're going to do i'll try and get it set up in the next few days so it's a bit more warning and you'll be able to learn the game if you need to, etc. But uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. 
and thanks for playing. <laughs> Fuzzy Bear's suggesting side. Might struggle to fit that into an hour. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got to be games that kind of work with the format. So I think might do a word game, wordsy one week, might do concept. Um, number nine, if people have it at home, they'd be able to play along with. So that could be kind of cool. And yeah, so just be various games that uh, don't have hidden information that we can play along. Might even try Pandemic One Lunch, uh, which can be done in an hour if we're quick on it. So yeah, um, as always, and to everyone who's been on the chat and everyone, everything, thanks for joining me. Thanks for playing. And bye for now.